Sicilian defense, canal attack, 3, NC64.00 BD75.re1 NF66.C3 A67.BF1 BG4. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. Nc6 aids in maintaining control over the d4 and e5 squares. BB5 engages in a knight on c6 attack while getting ready to castle kingside. D6 controls the e5 square, supports the c5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. BD7 develops the light squared bishop and unpins the knight on c6. One rupee activates the rook and supports the e4 pawn. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center attacks the e4 pawn and controls the d5 square. c3 controls the d4 square and prepares the d4 pawn push. a6 attacks the bishop on b5 and prepares the b5 pawn push. bf1 retreats the bishop to the king's side, white may fianchetto this bishop to g2 in the future after g2 g3. bg4 pins the knight and moves the bishop to a more aggressive square. the bishop will be better off as a result of this. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Takes back. It is the last book move. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is quite good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is excellent. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is ideal. This suggests kicking a bishop. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is excellent. This mobilizes the knight allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. A very strong play. It is excellent. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This fails to take use of the chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning material. It is a miss. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. That's good. A solid choice. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well but black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players.